let me therefore take the opportune moment to thank you for making it a success. I salute the presence of all the hosted buyers, who include Travel Trade and the media representative from over 25 countries across the globe. I'm certain you have been you have sampled the magical experience of this destination during the last couple of days in your separate familiarization trips across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence of over 130 buyers today is a positive indication of their readiness to serve the destination to all the visitors within their networks. It affirms that Kenya is a country many other eager to visit. To sustain our growth in the tourism sector, the government has refocused its efforts on areas of safety and security, infrastructure improvement, incentives, as well as sustained campaigns on source markets to increase destination awareness. Due to the heightened safety and security measures, we have received several international high-profile personalities and heads of states, and this shows that the country is safe and the world is confident with Kenya. This proves that Kenya is both a business and a diplomatic hub. We are optimistic that Kenya will achieve at least 10% growth in tourism this, this, this year. On infrastructure, we have made great strides as a country. The Global Competitive Index, as initiative of the World Economic Forum, that assesses the landscape of selected economies across the globe. Kenya ranks seven among the most competitive in Africa. This means that Kenya runs top in the East African community, from Mauritius, South Africa, Morocco, Tunisia, Botswana, and Algeria. Again, on the other hand, Kenya ranks 61 among 106, 190 economies in the ease of doing business globally, according to the latest World Bank annual ratings. Kenya has moved 19 places, up from 80 in 2017 to 61 in 2018. Countries that run better in these reports attract investors and appeal more as potentially great foreign direct investment that can, the country can host. Cruise tourism is growing globally and Kenya wants to tap into this segment. Kenya is almost completing the construction of the cruise terminal in Mombasa. The government has invested there and now is going to be ready by the end of this year. It is said to open major businesses in the country and Kenya will be competing with the rest of the cruise business. Mamangina Waterfront, an initiative by the Ministry of Tourism, is another beautification project aimed at reviving and promoting the rich Swahili culture at the coast. The waterfront will be iconic, recreational destination in Mombasa and is set to open somewhere this month on the Heroes Day, 20th of October. Separately, we have made big wins in the wildlife sector. The wins position Kenya not just as a tourist attraction destination, but also a world leader in conservation and the protection of the natural heritage of wildlife. July this year, a delegation of Kenyans went to Geneva to attend the COP18 Convention on Illegal Trade and Endangered Species. Kenya sent a strong message to the world on uncompromising stand against the ivory trade. We not only called on the closing of domestic ivory markets in the international level, but also managed to salvage the rhino by saying no to rhino horn trade. We also managed to include the giraffe in the Appendix 2, meaning they will be regulated under CITES. In July this year, the government set aside almost a thousand acres of land in Mount Kenya forests so that we can introduce the mountain bongo who are endangered in Kenya. 77, 77 of them were introduced to that ecosystem so that they can be able to reproduce. Ladies and gentlemen, we recognize that mice is a very important segment of tourism and have gazetted the, the National Convention Bureau. Today I want to announce that the appointment of Jacinta Nzioka 
as the acting national coordinator for the same. As I conclude, I wish to state that Nairobi is developing innovative food establishment. Recently, we have seen growth of both local and international cuisines. Your examples is Peruvian, Mexican, Ethiopian, Kenyan, and also new restaurant catering for the vegan community. This is definitely add value to Nairobi as a new urban tourism destination. Therefore, in your stay, I encourage you to explore Nairobi both in cuisine by, but also by night. Finally, I take this opportunity to thank you all for making, making MKTE 2019 a success and wishing you fruitful business ahead. I now officially open the 9th MKTE Open. Thank you and good night.